Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing content of this video. I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Alrighty, so today I am going to be watercolor painting a mushroom. That is the plan at least. I've never watercolor painted a mushroom before and I've never drawn one before, so we're gonna see how this turns out. But I looked at some stock images of very simple mushroom drawings before this video, so I think I have a pretty good idea of how to draw a mushroom. I, I, I hope. I hope. We're, we're going to find out. You know what I'm saying? We're going to find out. I'm going to be using today, though, to, well, watercolor paint the mushroom. First off, a pencil graft your 500 0 0.5 millimeter mechanical pencil to just sketch out the mushroom and everything like that. If I mess up any of the lines, I'm going to be using my pencil click eraser to fix those lines. And then after I fix these, after I fix these, now it's time for me to go ahead and, I guess, introduce... Okay. All right. Stay there. Stay there. Okay. All right. It's not staying there very well. After I go ahead and sketch the mushroom, though, I am going to be using my Winsor & Newton mobile watercolor set to, well, actually watercolor paint the mushroom that I'm going to be, well, watercolor painting in today's video. I still don't know uh, exactly what colors I want to use for the drawing today. I think I might do orange. I think I might do orange and... Uh, maybe, maybe like gray or I, I've got to figure it out. I've got to figure it out. Maybe I'll just go for gray. I don't know. I got to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? I'll just close that up just for the moment. But after I watercolor paint the mushroom and add all of the details I want to, I am then going to go over all of the lines once again with my Sharpie S gel pen, just to make sure that the drawing is looking a little bit more distinct than it would. Otherwise, that is the plan. At least I'm going to go ahead and move these two over to the side. And now it is time for me to go ahead and well, get to drawing the mushroom that I am then going to be watercolor painting in today's video. I think first off, I'm going to go ahead and start with the actual head of the mushroom. Uh, so I do want it to take up most of the page, but I'm thinking the head is probably going to be kind of like that kind of thing. That's kind of what I'm thinking. And then I'm thinking I want it to kind of go down like that kind of thing. And then I'm kind of thinking like go up kind of thing. Just like that. That does, that's that's kind of what I'm thinking. It kind of more looks more like an umbrella right now. So I think I might fix some of the stem and kind of make it go down and then come straight because I want it to kind of go into the ground right here and whatnot. Uh, so I think I'm going to fix that real quick. But other than that, the head is looking pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and add some details uh, to the uh, head as well to the top of the mushroom. I don't really know what to refer to it as, honestly. I don't know the actual... Uh, I, I took biology uh, sometime. I can't remember when. Uh, but I, I definitely did not learn uh, what the what the top of a mushroom is called. Or if I did, I don't remember it anymore. Uh, but let's just go ahead, and I think I'm going to go ahead and do this line first. And just kind of have that come down. And then just kind of have this one come down as well kind of thing. And there we go. That's looking much more mushroomy now. And I think I'm just going to have it kind of come down like that. Just like that. And then I'm just going to have like two lines on either side, just to make it look even more like a mushroom. And there we go, I'm gonna go and connect these two lines back up, just like that. And uh, there we go, that's looking like a mushroom, I ain't gonna lie. Are there any other details I want to add? I think I kinda want it to be like a mushroom where it's like kinda, you can kinda like, it's like you go underneath the mushroom kinda thing, that sort of mushroom. So I'm not thinking I wanna add any lines like going like that or anything like that kinda thing. I am considering it though, in all honesty, but I think I'm just gonna make the top of this darker than the bottom with watercolor paint. I think that's going to be the plan at least. And yeah, I think that's all done. There are some other details I wanna add though. Of course, just like with all of my drawings, I do need to add a face to it. And there are some other details I wanna to add to the top of the mushroom as well. But the actual like overall a sketch of the mushroom is all done and I'm pretty happy with how it's placed on the page and everything like that. Uh, but let's now go ahead and just sketch a face, a fa face, face on the mushroom. So let's just do one eye right there, one eye right there. And then just a mouth going all the way across, just like that. Let's make the mouth just a little bit longer. And how am I thinking? How am I how am I feeling about this eye? This eye is a little bit above this eye. So I'm going to erase it and redo that. Uh, just because I want it to be just a little bit more even kind of thing. I want it to be straight on. And I'm trying to make sure y'all don't see the back of my head. So let's just do that a little bit lower, just like that kind of thing. And that should work. That should work right there.
Okay, I think that is all good. I think that's all good. And basically every other detail that I want to do to this is just related to the face and just adding other details to the top of the mushroom. There's not really too much else for me to do. I'm just gonna go ahead and go like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the same on this side. Uh, just like that. I'm not very happy with these. They don't match the other side. So I'm gonna go ahead and redo those real quick. I always get one side the way I want and then the other side not the way I want. But hey, I mean, like, that's just how it is, you know what I'm saying? And is that more how I want? Uh, kinda, I guess. Not really. All right, there we go, there we go. No complaints, I might be happy, you know what I'm saying? Let's just go ahead and add some eyebrows, just some very small eyebrows. That eyebrow is above. It's too far up. I can't believe me, y'all, I can't believe me. I'm having fun, though. I'm having fun, though. That is the most important part. While I am being a little bit more, uh, I definitely have to say, uh, anal about how this, uh, about how this drawing is looking. I have no complaints on my behalf because I am pretty happy with how it's looking right now. So I have, I really do have no complaints on my behalf about that. That is for sure. And I think that should be good just about there. I'm just gonna go ahead and just darken that up just a little bit. And yeah, I think that should be good just about there. I think this eyebrow, it might be a little bit too far off. Uh, looking at the camera though, doesn't matter. It is bothering me a little bit. I do kind of want to fix that. So I am actually just going to erase this entire eyebrow and try again. I'm gonna move this out of the way, move this out of the way. I know y'all can't see that because it's off screen, but it is what it is. And I'm just gonna go back like that kind of thing. Let's see, is that, that, that should be all good, okay. There we go, okay. I think that is much better now. I think that's much better now. There we go. All right. I'm going to stick with that. I'm going to stick with that. I'm not doing any other details of, of the eyebrows, but I am going to add just a forehead line up here, a chin line down there. And there we go. Those are all of the details that I want to do for the face besides these two lines right here as well. Uh, that's all sketched up though. Now I'm going to go ahead and just start adding some other details to the actual drawing itself. I kind of want this to be like a mushroom with a bunch of like sort of pimples and stuff kind of thing. So I'm going to add a bunch of pimples like all around. There's like a, I saw a bunch of the drawings I was like looking at had like pimples on them and stuff like that kind of thing. So I was like, oh, that would be cool to add uh, in my drawing as well. So I thought I was going to, and well, now I am, you know what I'm saying? There we go. And I'm just going to go ahead and erase some parts of these lines so I can have the pimples kind of just sticking out right there as well. Ooh, excuse me. I did drink a monster before this, and it was pretty good, but it's definitely making me burp a little bit. Alrighty. And I think that is all good to go. There we go. Mm, maybe one more right there. Alrighty. Let's stick with that. Let's stick with that. I think that should be all good. And so now I think it's time for me to go ahead and actually get to watercolor painting. Um, I don't know what color I want to I do the mushroom though. I don't know what color I actually want to watercolor paint the mushroom though. That is one thing I need to figure out. That is one thing I need to figure out. I was thinking orange might be okay. Uh, sadly, this red is less of a red and more of a sort of like pinkish magenta color, uh, which is a little bit uh, sad, I will admit. It's definitely not to my preference. I could go monochromatic, but I'm not really big on doing monochromatic mushroom. I just think it would look better if I used um, a different color than just black and gray and whatnot. Uh, it's a mushroom after all kind of thing. It's got to be looking somewhat psychedelic, right? Because you're like, you're supposed to eat this mushroom, right? I don't know. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, hmm. Hmm. I don't know. What color do I want to use? I don't want to do blue. Blue? No. No, I'm not thinking blue. I mean, like, I could do orange, or I could do, like, 
I'm thinking I might just go for monochromatic. Mmm. I don't really want to, though. I don't really want to, but this red sucks. This red sucks. So, like, let me grab the last thing I did. I used this red right here. And, I mean, like, look at that. That is not... That is, that is not... That is not red. That is pink. That is not red. And that is my ear. That that is the factor that is irritating. And I do want to use this set. I have another set which has an actual red, but it's a cheap ass set. I don't like it. This set is way better. And so I want to use this watercolor set, but hmm, hmm, I'm struggling right now. I'm struggling. I could go for like green or something. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. I'm thinking I might grow. I might go monochromatic just because I don't really have the colors I want, and because I don't really know how to mix colors with watercolor. So I think I'm gonna go for monochromatic. It's not gonna look the most interesting, but hopefully it'll look cool. I do like monochromatic stuff, so hopefully it ends up looking good. But I do suppose if it doesn't, I can always try again in the future, right? I think today I'm going to be using a Fundamentals Creative Mark Six Shader. Uh, I think this is going to be the only brush I'm going to use today. I can't see myself using any other brushes today, but I might use one of the other fu other Fundamentals Creative Mark uh, brushes I have on me, but I'm going to move those to the side, and I'm now going to put this little uh, pot right here as a little holder for my mobile watercolor set so it doesn't fall over, and now I'm going to go ahead and move my water closer. I'm going to go and get my brush all wet. I'm going to go ahead and grab some black, and I think I am going to start with the top of the mushroom. So I'm just going to go and start with the edge right here, I'm thinking. Overall, though, this has been a fun new experience. I'm enjoying it. No complaints on my behalf, you know what I'm saying? So far, it's been a fun new experience. Let me put it that way. Just trying to get the base layer down right now and everything like that kind of thing. I don't really care if the base layer doesn't look the best because it's just the base layer. Uh, what really matters are the layers with watercolor painting. Uh, so that's going to be my, my goal to really get right. I'm also trying to make sure I make the actual mushroom itself look like it's uh, got three dimensions to it, even if it is just 2D kind of thing. That is kind of what I'm trying to do with these lines. I kind of, I know I stretch it across like that kind of thing, but I, I want to try to fix that a little bit and make it just look a little bit better. I'll just grab a little bit of black and just go, go at it. Just start, starting in the middle now kind of thing. I think I'm going to go up top, just go across like that kind of thing. There we go. And this is going pretty well so far. This is going pretty well so far. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. I think it's looking pretty good. I do think this is looking pretty good. Oh, maybe this is a petrified mushroom. Maybe this is a petrified mushroom. Maybe that's what this is. It's a petrified mushroom. There we go. I figured out an excuse to make it to make it make sense why it's gray and monochromatic instead of having a lot of color and everything like that. There we go. I figured out a good excuse, right? Right? It's petrified. And there we go. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. It's looking pretty good so far. And yeah, there we go. There's the base layer on the top of the mushroom done. Uh, the shading is a little bit uneven right now, but that's not too big a deal. I'll be fixing that uh, soon enough. And uh, yeah, that's all I need to do. Uh, that is all wet though. I'm gonna wait until it dries. So while it's drying, I'm gonna go and handle the bottom of the mushroom down here. I'm just gonna do a base layer down here as well. Starting off with the top being of course a lot darker than the bottom is the plan. Uh, and the overall, I think I might've used uh, too much paint. It is what it is, though. I'm going to try to make sure all of that dark area, though, is mostly at the top. So I'm going to try to grab some water and color lift a little bit towards the bottom, I think. And just try to keep all of that color towards the top. There we go. Just like that. And let's go and grab some more and go from the top once again. Not so good doing it like this. I'm used to going left to right, not right to left. And this is a much better base layer. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. This is that this this side is looking way better than the other side. I am gonna grab some of the uh, water off, though. I did use too much water, but that is what it is. It's my own fault. Okay. 
And I'm just gonna wait for that to dry to finish it off and everything like that. Uh, I'm thinking I now wanna do the stock, which I want to be all very, very, very light, except for one side. I grabbed too much paint once again though, and this is the problem with black. It's so easy to just grab so much paint in one go, it is crazy. I am just gonna grab a bunch of water and just start scraping all of that down, trying to desperately make it a little bit lighter than it is, and there we go, I think I succeeded. I definitely wanted a little bit darker at the top, and yeah, yeah I'm pretty happy with uh, that. I think I succeeded pretty well, and I'm just gonna go ahead and just brush all that down kind of thing and just make it where it's not really a, uh, a like sort of a specific area where it stops kind of thing, just uh, sort of just brush it down just like that, and there we go. All right, so that is the main portion of the mushroom all done. Uh, certainly no complaints on my behalf. All of the base layer is there. I think the stock, is, I think I'm just going to leave it as is kind of thing. I don't think it needs any more than a base layer. I'm probably going to shade slightly one side of it just to give it some extra shading and extra look. Uh, but other than that, I think pretty much I just need to work on shading for the actual main portion of the mushroom, the underneath, and do more layers on those. But I think other than that, it's pretty much all good to go. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. And this is definitely not the most difficult thing in the world uh, to draw, which is something I do like about it. I'm going to go ahead and start adding some darker areas along here though, or at least try to. I didn't really grab enough paint, but that's okay. I'm just gonna leave it like that for the moment. I'm just gonna dry off my brush, kind of just uh, spread that water around just a little bit kind of thing, just to try to make it a little bit more even. There we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and do another layer on the top. And try to make this look more even as well. I definitely think I grabbed too much color, but I'm just going to spread it all out. So it is what it is. Watercolor is both the most forgiving and least forgiving medium ever. It is frustrating because of that, but it's also sometimes really nice because of that. Like in this scenario, it was kind of nice. It's uh, it was pretty it was pretty forgiving in this scenario. Um, I think pretty much though the base layer is all done for the main portion of the mushroom. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and start adding some shading on one side. Just try to stretch all of that out before it all dries. Grab some water. And there we go. All right, I'm just gonna stand up for a minute, take a look at how it's looking. The top of the mushroom is definitely looking pretty good. And I definitely think that this side being a little bit lighter than this side is not a bad thing. I think that's okay, but it's definitely too light at the moment. I definitely need to fix that. And I think the stock is all good. I definitely do wanna do some shading on this edge of the stock though, uh, but it's turning out pretty good so far. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. I'm pretty happy with how this drawing is going. I think now I'm gonna go ahead and add some shading to the stock itself. I'm just gonna dry off my brush a little bit and just go ahead and grab some paint and go ahead and start adding shading to the stock. Just go down just like that kind of thing. And just make it all a little bit darker as well, just to even it out and whatnot.
Alrighty, and there we go. I think that's the shading for the stock all done. I think that's all good. And now it's time for me to go ahead and start trying to shade this area a little bit more. I think I grabbed too much black. I hope that's turning out okay. I think that's not bad. Now I've got to go ahead and do the other side too. Alrighty, and there we go. And I think I just need some slightly darker colors along the edges, and then the bottom will be all done. I'm thinking for the top, though, I kind of want to add some more dark areas around just like that kind of thing, and then just kind of have it end right there. And I think that's pretty much the plan, and probably do one more layer on the top as well. I think I'm going to do one more layer on the top first. Or not on the top first, I'm just going to do one more base layer. Uh, just to darken it all up just a little bit more, but I still want to keep it uh, a little bit light. I don't want it to be super dark by any means. So I'm just going to be trying to pretty much just darken up the middle where it's the lightest at the moment, uh, just to uh, make it just look a little bit more even. And then after that, I am going to be uh, just adding a little bit more darkness to the top. Alrighty, and there we go. I think that's pretty much all done. I'm just going to go and add a little bit of a layer at the top. Just a little bit more dark right up here. Just kind of drag that down this way as well. There we go. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and add the, make the bottom of the mushroom a little bit darker. And then after that, I think I'll be all done. I may, might clean up some of the lines right here, but I think that's just about all I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna stand up straight. 
you just go across like that and down like that. And there we go. All right, I think I need to darken that up just a little bit more, and then after that, I'll be all done. And I think I might get out a smaller brush to do that, just because I keep messing up the little details and just accidentally making it a little bit thicker than it should be at that point. So I'm just going to go ahead and get some water on that brush. I'm going to go ahead and just dry it off, and I'm just going to grab some black, and I'm just going to go back and try to fix that just a little bit. go. Alrighty. There we go. Perfect. And now I think I'm going to go ahead and just darken this line up just a little bit as well. even though it doesn't really matter because I'm going all over all of this in pen. But, I mean, okay, I don't care. I want to do what I want to do, you know what I'm saying? And now I'm just going to go and clean up this line a little bit as well. Alrighty, so there we go. That is all done. That's all done. No complaints. I might be happy. You know what I'm saying? Should I have added a black line going across there? I think it's all good. I think it's all good because, well, no, like that's like you're not able to see any of, any of the underneath right there. So I think that's fine. If it looks weird, it looks weird, and I know for the future. I think I'm going to stick with what I have right now. I think that's all done. So, yeah, there we go. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. I'm pretty happy with how it looks. Uh, now I've just got to go over all of it in pen. And that's all I've got to do uh, for the rest of the video. It is a little damp right now. Uh, so I'm going to wait for it to dry a little bit. So first off, before I go ahead and actually start, uh, well, actually uh, going over it and with my Sharpie S-Gel pen, I am... Uh, first off, going to just gonna go and put my brushes away, just to go ahead and get cleaned up. You know what I'm saying? Just put those over there. Put my watercolor set right there. Get my lighter. I flick my lighter. You know what I'm saying? Boom! There we go. There we go. It's working perfectly fine. Boom! There we go. Got my lighter. I'm just flexing on y'all right now. Just flexing on y'all right now. You know what I'm saying? Hey man, 80, 90 times is too many, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. You can never have too many, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. You can never have too many, you know what I'm saying? But, I'm just going to go ahead and grab all this. Make sure there's no sort of dampness there. I'm going to go put that in the trash. And uh, now I think it's time for me to go ahead and start going over the, all of the lines with my uh, Sharpie S gel pen. I think I've pretty much accomplished what I wanted to accomplish in today's video. I think it's looking pretty good. So certainly no complaints on my behalf. I am, I think first off, though, actually going to go and take a sip of water. I'm feeling like I need a sip of water right now, so I'm going to go and take one.
just got some tap water today, you know what I'm saying? And so now I'm just going to go ahead and just start going over all of the lines that I made with my uh, pencil graph gear mechanical pencil. And just make them all look just a little bit more distinct than they would have previously. And I'm probably, this is just the first layer. I'm going to be doing another layer uh, a little bit later on as well. But I just want to get the first, the base layer down uh, before I try to actually do the second layer, of course, because you can't have a second layer without a first layer, right? And I'm just going to go and do this side as well. Excuse me. I had to burp a little bit. I said I drank a little bit of a monster before this video. I think I said that at least. Uh, so it makes sense why I'm burping a little bit. And let's just have that come all the way down. And now let's go ahead and do the bottom of the mushroom. Oopsies, I messed that up just a little bit. That's okay, though. Oh yeah, that's looking a lot better with the uh, with the pen. Whoopsies, trying to go like that just a little bit, just so it's a little bit easier. There we go. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with how it's looking with the pen. Certainly, no complaints on my behalf. And let's just go ahead and start doing the actual top of the mushroom now. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and do the first layer on all of the facial details of the mushroom. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and add all of the other details I need to add, like the second layer and everything like that. And there we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and start doing all the facial details, starting off with the nose, I think. Then I'm going to go ahead and just do the mouth, the eyes, the eyebrows, and all that. And then I think I'm going to do all the pimples. Gonna do these two lines just because hey, why not, right? And I'm gonna go and do the mouth. Just like that. And now I'm gonna go and do the eyes. I'm just gonna stretch this up just like that, kind of oh, try to make sure it's still in for screen, still on screen, but try to just make it easier on myself. Uh, to get these lines all done the way I want. I, of course, don't want you guys to miss out on a single detail of this, but my desk is definitely not the biggest, and neither is my camera angle, I will admit. My camera angle is not the biggest simply because my desk is not the biggest, and I don't want y'all seeing the mess on my desk. <laughs> I do got a little bit of a messy desk, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Little, little bit, little bit of a messy desk. A little bit of a messy desk. It's not super messy, but it is more bit more. It is a little more messy than not. It's a controlled mess. It's a controlled mess. That's my excuse. I know where everything is on my desk. I have everything I need to do. Everything on my desk. I got. Actually, I don't have any water on my desk. That's on my floor. I have a pot. I don't actually have pot on my desk, but I do have a pot. I have Calendula if I want to feel relaxed. I got an Altoids container without Altoids in it. I got a SIM card popper in it. I've got a dongle, like 10 USB drives, a bunch of pens, another pen I've never opened. I've got a coaster, a bunch of notes, my laptop, a monitor, this, this, this rig I use right here for recording. I've got a ring light right here for recording uh, to get the lighting all good. I've got scissors, I've got a keyboard, I've got a mouse and a mouse pad. I've got a knife, you know, just in case I need a knife. I've got a spare pair of earphones. I've got a drawing notebook. I don't know why that's on my desk, actually. I should probably put that somewhere else because I, I don't know why that's on my desk. I've got a battery thing because sometimes my phone decides it wants to die on me halfway through the video. I've got a stapler. I've got a little pouch. I've got an eyeglass cleaner. Uh, for my sunglasses, I think I should probably put that in my backpack. And eraser dust everywhere. Oh, and a pair of headphones. Yeah. Um, yeah, my, my desk is definitely a, a little bit messy, I ain't gonna lie. A little bit messy, but I'm like, hey. It's not usable if you, if you ain't got everything you need, right? That's my excuse. There we go, there we go. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. This is looking pretty good, though. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and start going over all of the pimples. And just giving all of those a little bit more... Uh, a little bit more characteristic uh, pop and everything like that with the pen. 
And of course, I'm going to be doing a second layer on each and every single one of these. And I think that is... Ooh, I think I missed one or two like up here, but those are I get it. There's one right here that I missed. There's one right here that I missed. And y'all are probably gonna see the back of my head for a moment, but it is what it is. I'll just make that a little bit longer. Alrighty, so that is all the pimples done. So now all I need to do is do the second layer on all of the details I just went over and did the first layer of, and then I'm all done, you know what I'm saying? And then I'm all done. I am pretty happy with how this is turning out, though. I think this little petrified mushroom looking pretty good kind of thing. I'm very happy with the shading. I think the shading is, is pretty much exactly how I wanted it. I think the details are pretty much all exactly how I wanted them. I am overall, I'm very happy with how this is turning out. I am really, really, really happy with how this is turning out. This has been a lot of fun. I've never drawn a mushroom before. I've never watercolor painted a mushroom before. This is my first time ever trying to draw a mushroom. Well, I, it might not be my first time. I've probably done, I've probably tried to draw a mushroom before. I probably just don't remember. I'll probably find a notebook from 10 years ago where I drew a mushroom or something like that kind of thing. Either way, though. This is turning out really good, and I'm very happy with it. And this is the first time in my recent memory, at least in my complete memory, actually, uh, that I've grown a mushroom. Although I probably have before, I just probably don't remember it. Uh, but let's just go ahead and start uh, doing the second layer on all of the uh, lines I just put down. So I'm just going to go and do the second layer on the bottom of the mushroom right here. Just go ahead and thicken up all these lines right here and everything like that. Just like that. There we go. And let's go ahead and do the second layer, just coming down from the stalk. Just get, make it a little bit thicker, make it a little bit more uh, distinct. Do the same thing on the other side, of course. And you can go ahead and thicken up both of these lines right here as well. There we go. I accidentally did that, so I just figured, hey, I'd mind as well add it to the other side, right? And now let's go ahead and start doing the second layer on the top of the mushroom, the head of the mushroom. I don't know what the correct word is, but I guess head is the right word. I don't know. Oof. Excuse me. I'm still burping. Having a lot of fun, though. I'm glad I am. I'm glad I am. What's the point of doing art if you're not having fun, right? I wouldn't do art if I didn't enjoy it, and I'm glad I am enjoying this, that's for sure. Sometimes pushing myself can kind of feel like a, a little bit of a slog kind of thing. Like I'm pushing myself and I'm like, okay, I want to learn how to do this new thing. But you know, it just kind of feels like a slog. Just because it's just kind of like, I don't really feel like doing it, but I really want to learn how to do this new stuff uh, and, and know how to draw this new thing uh, so I can get better at doing art as a whole because I can do this. And if I can do this, then I can do that. And that's going to be a lot of fun kind of thing. But sometimes just getting to that point feels like a little bit of a slog. And learning how to draw a mushroom has not been a slog at all. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, and I, I've, I've drawn something different. I've drawn something a little bit new. And I'm really, really, really happy with it as a whole. And uh, I'm, I'm glad. It, I'm really glad it didn't feel like a slog. I ain't going to lie, y'all. I think I'm just going to go ahead and do all the pimples first. And then I'm just going to go ahead and do all of the other details of the face. And there we go. I think that's all the pimples done. So now I'm just going to go ahead and start doing all of the other details on the face. And then after that, I'll be all done with this drawing. 
I'm just gonna go ahead and point it that way just to make it a little bit easier to do the mouth. A second layer on the mouth to be exact. And the same with the eyes. Just thicken those lines up just a little bit. And let's go and do the nose now. Let's go and do those eye lines too. And uh, I think that's all I really needed to do. I think that's it, in all honesty. Like, thicken these two up. There we go. Now they're, like, the same thickness as the other side. And, yeah, no, I think that's it. I don't think I need to do anything else. Uh, some constructive criticism for myself, just real quick, while I am... Just kind of getting some stuff together for a little bit of a screenshot uh, for this video, a little bit of a thumbnail, just in case I don't like the thumbnails YouTube picks out for this video. Uh, just some constructive criticism just for myself real quick. Uh, overall, I am more happy uh, with this uh, drawing than not, that is for sure. Uh, but one thing I will admit that I am, that, that I think I could do better in the future is the flatness of the top of the mushroom. The mushroom, the top of the mushroom, don't get me wrong, it has shading. It is definitely distinctly darker on this side than this side in some areas. Down here, it's not as dark as, like, the top right here and everything like that kind of thing. And I would have liked for this area right here to be a little bit more dark. Uh, but it did not turn out that way, and I would have definitely preferred it if it was like that. Uh, but that's one of those things where it is what it is, and I don't really think it makes that big of a difference. But that's something to keep in mind in the future if I draw another mushroom or if I do another um thing that's shaped like a mushroom it's something to keep in mind that is for sure i'm just going to go and thicken up this line just a little bit as well uh but i think that's really all the constructive criticism i have it's just kind of feeling a little bit flat at the top but i'm pretty happy with the shading down here the shading right here in the middle could have been a little bit uh lighter as well but him like hey that is what it is i definitely would have preferred to have slightly darker shading at the top looking back on it but it is what it is the stock as a whole though i'm very happy with i would have liked to have some more watercolor kind of coming out of here and whatnot, but eh, it is what it is kind of thing. I'm not too worried about it. And I do think one thing I want to do before the end is I just kind of want to connect these two lines up right here. It's just bothering me that those are significantly thinner uh, than the other lines. And there we go. Yeah, no, that's the, uh, that's, that's the watercolor painting. That is the watercolor painting of me, uh, well, drawing and watercolor painting a petrified mushroom uh, or, or just a mushroom as a whole. Don't eat it. Don't eat this mushroom, y'all. It definitely is not good for you, uh, but overall, I am pretty happy with this mushroom. I ain't gonna lie, I'm not gonna add any arms or legs to it or anything like that, although that would be amusing, but I think it looks best like this, and so I'm not gonna add any arms or legs to it uh, for now, but maybe I'll do a little doodle or something like that in the future of a mushroom and add some arms and legs then. Uh, but I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. Make sure to let me know in the comments down below whether you guys have any constructive criticism uh, for this watercolor painting right here, or if you guys have any tips for watercolor painting that I could use in the future. I would love to hear them. But thank you very much for watching this video, guys. I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. It's been a pleasure to make, that is for sure. And if you guys have enjoyed watching this video, of course, like, subscribe, and of course, check out my Instagram, my book, my merch, my P.O. Box, and my my main channel, all in the description down below. Go check it all out, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, thank you very much for watching, y'all. To the next one, stay safe and peace. Never a great one. Yes, sir, yes, sir, you know what I'm saying?